Hi guys, I'm standing in front of one of the dark bungalows which is situated in Pakistan, Red Six Sarabi village, Chota, Lahore. Uh, back in the past, uh, when there were no motor vehicles and when the British officials traveled around India on horseback, um, in those days, dark bungalows and rest houses were built uh, specifically at about every 18 to 20 miles where the officials would stop, take a break, and then resume their journey. Uh, this bungalow right behind me is an excellent example of how the British colonizer uh, tried to mix local building style adopt to the local environment and still at the same time remind the occupant of Britain and British values. This structure uh, to be honest is still quite good in its condition keeping in mind the time it has come across. Uh, it is about more than 200 years old structure. The bricks, the walls, the ceiling, everything is uh, quite good in uh, their condition. Mm, let's have a look inside. ceiling uh, is uh, still not really bad. We are having used some bricks in the ceiling and there we can see some iron strips which is dividing the ceiling into about four uh, segments. They are four like arc like uh, segments. So they have used the simple uh, physics techniques as well in this scene. This, to be honest, it's very, very uh, impressive. The bricks are still quite intact, to be honest, and they have used mud in the bricks. So these doors are quite thick ones, and to be honest, quite good in their condition. This one uh, was the fireplace. Right now where I am standing used to be the uh, central dining hall. Uh, these bungalows, dark bungalows, uh, were uh, about from two to four bedrooms with a central dining hall. Right now where I'm standing, this is the central dining hall and uh, an adjoining servant room, uh, a kitchen, and veranda on both sides, on the front and on the back. I entered to this room from the back side. So this is the dining hall. And this room here used to be the kitchen. So they would uh, 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 prepare the food in the kitchen and then they will bring it to this central dining hall. This bungalow is about three bedrooms. Uh, and to be honest, keeping in mind the time as I mentioned, still very good, although it has been abandoned for about 70 years after the bridge left. Dark is an Urdu word which means post. So these bungalows were primarily built for the official from the post department. So that's why they are called dark bungalows, that is post or postal bungalows. In today's world we have um, broadcasting, we have TV, we have radio, we have internet, we have mobile phones and we can transfer information from one end of the world to the other within seconds. But in those days, in old days, they had nothing like this. So the only way for them to transfer information from one place to another was to travel on her back. So the officials of the postal department would keep traveling for miles and miles and would transfer information from one to another place. So we can see from this as to how vital uh, was the postal department, how important was the postal uh, department, the services uh, were really, really uh, great services because they uh, used to transfer information, deliver uh, letters, uh, post from one to another place, going and riding horses. So
So these bangalows played uh, an important role in those days where the officials, uh, the ones who would ride horses per miles, would stop in these bangalows, take a break, and after that they would resume their journey. Let's go around and have a look at this magnificent building. Where I'm standing right now uh, was a uh, reception. So there used to be a table and a chair, and there would be a register on that table. When the travelers would come, their entry would be recorded in, the, in that register. They're coming in, they're going out, and any fee paid for the services. Initially, uh, the British uh, official from the postal department had the use of these bangalows. Afterwards, even the other officials from other uh, uh, government departments used these bangalows, and the public would only use these bangalows if they would pay free for the services. Very, very impressive. Uh, the partition of India delivered a major blow to the historic buildings of India. With time and modernity, these buildings, these magnificent bungalows, uh, lose their importance. So they are no more important to the authorities. This building is under the authority of uh, irrigation department who is not very serious in taking care of this building and preserving this uh, valuable legacy, this precious heritage of uh, British India. to be honest, is on the off area and there were no buildings all around for miles and miles and it only plays this only back so we This building uh, has been the victim of neglect uh, during the, just after the partition, uh, this building has been abandoned since then. For the last 70 years, this, uh, for the last 70 years, this uh, magnificent bungalow has been the victim of neglect. We can see the boundary walls uh, have been broken and the bricks taken. Um, the doors of these rooms, they all had doors which have been taken. The ventilators, they had doors which have been taken. Uh, and this is very, very unfortunate for us, is to, nobody is taking care of this um, valuable antique. This building is, to be honest, uh, very, very impressive. We can see the uh, architectural techniques of the British Empire. Uh, very, very impressive. This place is a bit open. So the air straight comes and goes into the ventilators. From all sides, the mess come, the air comes, and this circulates in the floor. So, Initially, these uh, bungalows were built with local uh, 
building materials by the local craftsmen who were familiar with um, local traditional building techniques for generations before the British. It's, it's all the same as I showed you that room. The rest of the rooms are about the same. Some are big ones and some are small ones. The bedrooms stay and the dining hall there, they're quite spacious big ones. And these are the small ones. This room used to be a kitchen. The walls, unfortunately, have been broken here and there. There are some holes made in the walls and the material taken. The department whose responsibility it is to take care of this building is not very serious and that's why the boundary walls, as we can see, have been broken and taken, the, the, the bricks have been taken. There used to be some trees in this courtyard, in this impressive uh, courtyard, but the trees have been cut and the wood taken away. There was a, used to be a gate, big, two big doors in the entrance, they have been taken as well. So the partition of India was very, very unfortunate for these historical, these magnificent buildings because they have been the victim of neglect just after the partition for about 70 years. After 70 years of partition, we still have this magnificent structure available here, which is very impressive. And this courtyard is covering about 300 square yards area. Uh, so I request the authorities uh, to preserve this uh, valuable legacy, this precious heritage of British India. This is, to be honest, an antique purpose, and its value is uh, far beyond the ordinary buildings, the ordinary mansion. So we need to preserve this valuable structure. If if not, we will lose this structure very soon because day by day the people come and they uh, harm this building. They make holes in the walls. Uh, they destroy the walls and they take the bricks, which is very, very unfortunate. So the authority should take action and should preserve this important memory of Indian Empire. There used to be a well in the Middle East. The well is, the water well is still here. But some locals have put some uh, wood cover the water well so that the animals uh, actually the locals are using this area uh, for keeping their animals their sheep their uh, goats their cows etc so in order to um, keep their animals safe they have discovered this water well this is the place where they used to wash their clothes and take the water out from this well. This here, this side, this down area was a swimming pool. So, at the heat of the tropical That used to be uh, a stubble, and on the side of the stubble there uh, was a series of bathrooms, which unfortunately have been broken. So I would request the authorities to preserve this valuable mansion to secure this memory of Indian impact. Um, this dark bungalow is a kind of mystery for the local people. People don't have clear information regarding this uh, 
structure. I asked her, local somebody says it used to be a court and somebody says it used to be a prison other says it used to be a place where they would come for holidays um, some holiday makers would come here take a bath and would do different activities so nobody is clear about this building in the local people mm, so i am the first one to share information regarding this uh, lovely mansion with you you will not see any information regarding this on Google or anything else. Thank you very much for watching.